10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to the Eat and Critique Show with co-hosts Steve-O and Renee. Get ready to hear which South Florida restaurants serve the best seafood, Italian, Mexican, steak, or sushi. Who offers the best service, best portions, and atmosphere? Share your dining experiences with Steve-O and Renee each week while they share their dining experiences with you. Listen every week while Steve-O and Renee interview celebrity chefs, give away gift certificates to some of South Florida's finest restaurants, concert tickets, and share their top ten cuisines. Steve-O has written for the food sections of such publications as Boca Raton News, Boca Life Magazine, Parklander Magazine, and the Jewish Journal. And he's no stranger to radio. Steve-O has written two cookbooks, one for adults and one for children. He's a graduate of the prestigious Cooper Clinic for Fitness and Nutrition, and he graduated from the Florida Culinary Institute. Renee was the head of one of the largest marketing firms in Florida. She's been the co-host of the Eat and Critique show from its inception. Now let's get ready to call and share your dining experiences at 877-9. 27-6969. Now here's restaurant critics, Steve-O and Renee. And the beat goes on. Good afternoon and welcome to another Eat and Critique show brought to you by Madison's New York Grill and Bar in Boca Raton. Hey, I'm restaurant critic Steve O. Hey. Here. Hey. <laughs> what an opening. Hey. Hey, hey listen. Did you all did you all enjoy that big French game last week. <laughs> you are not, not allowed to say that. We're not allowed to say that. We cannot say Zubaboo. Okay. <laughs> but you guys had a lot of great ideas. God, our phones were buzzing last week. People telling us what kind of, how to so say. saying it with like a French twist. I guess. Hey, <laughs> listen, if you'd like to watch today's show, you can watch us live right now at www.theeatoncritiqueshow.com. If it doesn't come up, you spell critique wrong. Back up. Duttent? What's Duttent? Duttent's from Texas. <laughs> I know. Hey, listen, today's show is brought to you by our good friends at Madison's New York Grill and Bar, who offers great lunches and dinners in an upscale fine dining atmosphere. They've added 14 new items to their great menu. We love that oh, place. I love that Something's place. Something's wrong with my headset today. Why don't you put Squeezing it on? Squeezing on my brain, I think. <laughs> Something's going on. <laughs> hey, listen, make sure you try my favorite. Their baby back ribs where the meat falls off the bone. I love and them, And for too. that lady who called up and said, Can I have some that don't fall off the bone? <laughs> lady, get a life. <laughs> Anyhow, make reservations at Madison's New York Grill and Bar. Call them at 561-994-0808. That's 561-994-0808. You're Matt. so enthusiastic. Oh, I am. Today. I'm so really excited off. about the guests. You would think there was a big game on today. <laughs> there is. It's super big. Anyway, stop we, saying I'm gonna smack you in the head. We've got it's great guests coming on today. We do. Anyway, Madison's New York Grill is part of our top twenty Forever. restaurants ever. And listen, if you own a fine dining restaurant, just keep going. Just keep going. Don't I worry would... that my name says it says Renee at the top. Oh my of God, page. it does. Just keep talking. Who's that lady? Oh yeah, we never heard back from Brooklyn Water <laughs> Bagels right. again. Just walk away, Renee. That's what I'm going to be doing again wow. today. Okay. Tell so me our tasting. You, yes, our tasting last week. Is that what you're talking Friday about? Night. Friday night. We tasted at Lobster Bar and Sea Grill. Now you have to try to guess I'm what kind of cuisine it Las is. Las Olas. That was off it's the amazing. freaking chain, and I said freaking. And we have, uh, we have also who's coming on. Well, this is a test. Is. Executive Chef Jeff in studio to talk about our tasting. And if you love lobster, you are absolutely going to love this place because their lobster is just so fresh and tender and unbelievable. You know what I loved? What? That glass case when you walked in with all the fresh fish. Say that ten times. <laughs> <laughs> what were those fish floating at the top, though? Were they like sunbathing, doing the backstroke? What? Those are the ones that died. They float to the top. Guess they're then not they, so fresh. Then they sink. Then you eat them. <laughs> anyway, are we going to talk about Valentine's Day? Not, we're going we'll, go, to come go to, talk to we've John got a special Hammond guest. from the meatball room. Listen, you have asked us so many times through your emails about meatball room. Hey, if you ask, we bring them on, don't we? So, so wait a second. What? If they ask, they receive. Because I've asked for plenty of things I haven't received. Checks in the mail. <laughs> it's always in the mail. Just hand it over. Just hand it over. Okay, so anyway, before we get started, I know, listen, 
I know you guys support. We've gotten your emails. You support the restaurants we tell you to support, and we love you for that. This is one restaurant that we definitely tell you to go support, and we've got the owner, not the sous chef, not the executive chef, not the busboy. We have the owner. Well, we love the executive chef also, Chef Louie. Oh, we do. That's right. He's a, good He's a sweetie pie. But anyway, we've got the owner of Meatball Room in Boca Raton, one of the hottest Italian restaurants in Palm Beach County. We have John Hanley, the owner of Meatball Room, on the phone with us. Hi, John. How you doing? Hey, guys. What's happening? Nothing. Long time no talk to. I know. I know. I love being back here. God, we love having you back here. So tell everybody, Meatball Room, it's Tuscan inspired. Is that correct? Say that again. See, Steve-O told me to say this. You say it. <laughs> yeah, it is Tuscan-inspired, right? You can't even say the it word. It is Tuscan-inspired. It is. Yeah. He didn't understand. He didn't comprehend my New York accent. What did you want me to do? Say, hey, they have the best pizzas? <laughs> yes. No. We're, really good meatballs. We're restaurant critics. We kind of have a little bit different vocabulary. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so what's going on, John? Everything is good. Meatball Room is uh, moving along. We're having a great, uh, a great season. You know, officially this is—I consider this our first season. You know, being that we opened up last November and we got, you know, thrown right into the mix of uh, of Meatball Room and the season. So this time we were able to prepare. We got everything down pat. Why do I hear like a drain in the background? A drain or something flushing. <laughs> Maybe it's the fish. Maybe John's on his throne. <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh, don't even say that. So, uh, yeah, I'm on my boat right now. I just went underneath the bridge, and that's what you heard. Oh, oh he's on yeah. a boat. He's called us before from his boat. Bowl. You said bowl. I thought it was I on was the throne. I was getting a little nervous over there. <laughs> anyway, so what inspired you to open a location? Actually, there were other restaurants in that location, in that center, that, that didn't make it, and thank God you are. So what made you decide to open in that location? You know, we, we love Central Boca, you know, and that's, that was the area that we started looking at. And that's what we heard from the first day that we opened up the restaurant, that, you know, so many other previous restaurants, even Italian restaurants that were in the same exact spot. I think the thing that really set us apart is that we put that indoor-outdoor bar in, in the courtyard, um, in between us and 2J's, which allowed us to do the live music, the special venues, and it's really taken off. And we have amazing, I mean, really, really amazing shows coming up for the, the later part of uh, February and the beginning of March. Really, really good shows. Wonderful. How did you get Frank Sinatra to play on Sunday nights? We do. We have Tony Martelli. He <laughs> plays every Sunday night. And he's like a Sinatra, Tony Bennett guy. He's there every Sunday. He'll be there tonight. Oh, wow. So let's talk about your pizza. Oh. Your wood fire pizza. Yes. Are you doing the uh, Meatball Mobile? We don't have, we have, you know, we do delivery now. So delivery, yes, meatball. in the meatball mobile. Why are you right. looking at me like I have seven I eggs? I forgot about that. Okay, I remember everything. Just count on me. Okay. I'll fill you in as we go. Yeah, we have, uh, we do delivery, we're doing catering now. Um, the only thing that we, we're getting so uh, much catering that we actually close for lunch. We're only open now for dinner. And then we use that daytime to uh, to do the catering that we're doing. I am having a hot flash as we're talking. How's Chef Louie doing? Louie's doing great. He's doing really, really well. You know, he's got that kitchen. I think he went under the bridge again. I think uh, something happened. Did you drown? <laughs> Go off a I'm bit. I'm here. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Now we hear you. Uh, I said, yeah, Louie's got his kitchen down pat now. He's got everybody. He's got a tremendous team. They, they all work in sync now. And you can see it in the food. You can see it in the plate presentations. You can see it in, uh, you know, in, in the customer's appreciation and the way they're returning every single, every single week. I think they missed me making pizzas over there because I made some really good you pizza. you got to come back. <laughs> come in and see me this week. Hey, listen, John, you got to listen. This is really cool. You know, we do tastings every Friday night. And sometimes we'll go to a place that serves pizza, and Renee will always go, I still like Meatballs Pizza much more. <laughs> and, of course, we do. Only the ones that I make, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we go to, like, we've gone to a place a couple weeks ago that served baked clams. No one right. beats your no, baked she... clam oregano. No one. No, they are out of this world. You definitely have the best baked clams. Yeah, I have to yeah. say that. We put a new dish on the menu. We do a, a real... Um, a veal chopped parmesan 
It's on the bone. It's and we also do it stuffed, and we do it Parmesan style stuffed with eggplant, prosciutto, and spinach. Oh, you'd and love that! It's an amazing dish. It really is an amazing dish. Wow. We hey, haven't gone there in a while. We have to go eat. There. Absolutely, man. It's. Are we invited? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Just ask. Come me. on in. Let's go. Come on Let's down. <laughs> now, what are you guys doing for Valentine's? I know you've always got all kind of promotions going on. We do. We have a, a really nice promotion. We do a lot of promotion specials. Uh, beautiful um, homemade dessert, chocolate covered hearts with a raspberry um, middle. We're doing uh, complimentary champagne to every lady that comes in. Is it a preset and menu, John? Uh, roses. To every woman that walks in the door as well. Is it a prefix menu? Nope, it's going to be a regular menu with with Valentine's Day specials. Very nice. Tell everybody about Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights are ladies' night. Wednesday night is still an amazing night. Ladies drink free all night long. And uh, we have um, a DJ every Wednesday night. We have we do music videos now on the TVs, you know, going back to the 70s and 80s type of uh, music videos um, that, that coincides with the DJ. So the DJ plays it, and we also have it on the video screen now. Very cool. And tell you do live where music, you, too. Yeah, so tell everybody yeah, where you're located, live. John. We are in the Regency Court Shopping Center on the corner of Yamato and Jog in Boca Raton. Okay, and give your phone number out as well. 561 Four zero nine four one one one, and you can also find us on Open Table. And you know, you also do designer desserts, which yes, make all the desserts are in house. I got to tell you, everybody, I'm telling all of our listeners, you've got to go try. If you haven't tried Meatball Room. It is a experience. It's not just great food. There's always something going on there. Hey, you might even run into a celebrity there, right, John? Yes, you can. Absolutely. We've had plenty of them come into the place. They're on our wall. Don King was there. Yeah, Don King, he's there all the time. If you come, he's there three times a month, three, four times a month. He loves the food. He comes in all the time. He's a great supporter of ours. Wow. You know? Listen, we have, I am so glad that we got you on um, me, Paul, listen, back in November, that seems like so long ago when everything was first opening up and, and right. it, it just, God, I can't believe it's already been over a year, but no, now we're expanding. We're, uh, we're looking into meatball room expresses, which will be small, little in and out meatball rooms. And then of course we are looking to put the one in Pompano beach. So is that a drive through meatball room? <laughs> if a drive through allows it, sure. If not, it'll be like, um, you know, you walk up, give me a number seven. Give me no, number because six. Steve, oh, he loves drive-ins. <laughs> yeah, I love drive well, oh, wait, how many meatballs do you have now? Uh, we do 10 meatballs plus the daily feature, so wow. 11 meatballs every day. Okay, tell everybody again where you're located at. We're in the Regency Court Shopping Center on the... Northwest corner of Yamato Road and Jog Road, right across from Spanish River High School. And the phone number is 561-409-4111. Beautiful, man. We're so glad you hopped on with us today. Thanks for calling really in, John. You guys getting in touch with me. And Tell and Chef Louie hi for us. Week. Come stop in, Steve. This we will, bud. Sit down again. Okay, bud. Love you, man. You too, my man. That's, That's John Hanley. Have a great day. Thank you. you. The owner of Meatball, the famous Meatball Room. They get a lot of celebrities there now. Yes, they do. Except so for we'll us. have to go there this week. We will. <laughs> We've sure, been invited. Make sure you send write him, that down. Make sure you send him a bill. <laughs> Just say write it down. <laughs> right. I got a little oh, tape. Sorry, don't forget. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen. You know what? Um, I, I want to talk just a few seconds about two J's. Go ahead. And then we're going to talk about. There's a big event coming up this month. It's the South Beach Wine and Food Festival that we're involved with. Wow, we have got some incredible we're people. We're going to be giving away tickets to that. Oh, yeah. So $225. Turn your dial. Oh, yeah. $225 per ticket. Now, this does not include valet parking. Valet parking is like $300. This does not include food. This does not even include you getting in. It just you're able to tell people you have tickets to it. Is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> I'm just asking. I missed something. <laughs> I'm just asking. 
I'm go- that's it. Uh, I'm through. I'm done. It's not falling asleep. I took some cough medicine. Uh huh. Is that spelled with a K? Cough medicine? Yeah, it is. Okay. Anyhow. Dutton. I wouldn't talk if I were you, cowboy. Again? By the way, Jimmy, our great board op, loved getting all your calls last week about... No, super... Was this a dance? No, but... I'm over that already. I don't want people to think that we don't take calls. It's just last week... He was scared to take the calls. Yeah, we're going to blame you, Jimmy. Because... We are we were not allowed to say what game was on. Exactly. Which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Even more ridiculous than me? Yes. Wow. No. I'm moving up. <laughs> I changed my mind. Okay. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> okay. How, anyway, Holly's, ho, the, the Holly. I have a cough. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, me. that's right. We're talking about your coughing. and not that I just screwed up the holiday season. Listen, wow. you're lucky I didn't spit on you, so. <laughs> I covered my mouth. Can you go ahead? Okay. The holiday season is over, but 2J's is always in a party mode with their wonderful platters. 2J's offers the best platters, whether it's a cheese platter or one Smoked of our favorite. salmon platter is Ooh, my yeah. favorite. Yes. I love that. With the white fish. Or you can just sit down and order breakfast, lunch, or dinner, which we were just there a couple weeks ago. We were just and walk- what'd you eat? We just walked through. Yeah, we- <laughs> I need to use the restroom. Said hello to everybody. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Actually, the- here she goes. The location in Coral Springs was no, jamming, we had potato packed. It's always oh, packed there. I love their food there. Anyway, we get emails all the time from listeners telling us how much they appreciate 2J's. Especially we appreciate too, Jason. Yeah, we love they've got them. that under five hundred calories now on their. I saw one for four ninety nine. You did? Does that still count did as you get it? No, of course not. What'd <laughs> no. you get? I got the one Corn that was beef with cheese, no, French fries, potato lock. I got the five hundred sour cream. Wait a minute. I got the five hundred calorie, but I got three different ones. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's only if you could add, Jimmy. <laughs> get a calculator. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, how about that chocolate banana cream cake? Excellent. We had that for our party. Brownies, oh, brownies, God. the best brownies. Rugula. It's not rugula. They changed it again? No, it's not rugula. Now what's it I'd called? love to say it because I need to cough so bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you need to laugh so bad. Anyway, there's so many 2Js out there. So go to www.2Js.com for the location nearest to you. I mean, 2Js is like an institution now. Yes, a good institution. May I remind you again? (laughs) And I almost feel like daring people to walk by that dessert case when you're going out because, oh, everything always looks so good. Anyway, tell them Steve-O and Renee sent you. That's okay. good. Let's yes. go to break. And, and we look. have Tom Smith that's oh, here. Oh, he's going to be in in From about Meet, 10 Eatery minutes. and Tap Room, yes. Exactly. And you, I want you to do, because it's almost Valentine's Day. What? Give people some ideas again. No, they don't want ideas. You want ideas. You have no clue. How are you Even not? though I told you last week, you still have no clue. Hey, I have a lot of places to choose from. You have a lot. Jimmy, take Go us out of here. Go to our website and Hi, choose I'm one. Steve-O, restaurant critic on the Eat and Critique Show. When Renee and I find a great restaurant, we want to share it with okay, our I listeners. Cut her off. Let me tell you about Madison's New York Grill and Bar in Boca Raton. We made Madison's New York Grill and Bar one of our favorite restaurants right after we did our tasting. Madison serves both lunch and dinner, and if you need to impress a client or a friend, stop by Madison's for lunch, where they offer 10 items at $10 each. Try some of their lunch specials like grilled barbecue chicken breast, grilled salmon, rigatoni bellinese with meat sauce, or my favorite, their grilled chicken Caesars. Madison's is west of I-95 on Glades, next door to Jared Jewelers in Boca Raton. Renee and I received so many emails from listeners thanking us for turning them on to Madison's New York Grill and Bar. Try their crab cakes or another one of my favorites, their baby back ribs, which fall off the bone. Save room for their mouth-watering key lime pie. Call them at 561-994-0808 to make reservations. That's 561-994-0808. Please tell them you heard about it on the Eaton Critique Show. Hi, I'm Chris Levitt from the hit TV show Million Dollar Listing Miami on Bravo, and I love listening to Steve-O and Renee on the Eat and Critique radio show. Hi, this is Andrew McKinney, Mike general Scott. manager of Meisner Park in beautiful downtown Boca Raton. Here we go. I love listening to the Steve-O and Renee Eat and Critique radio show. Mike's a hot. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Don't touch Don't it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get burned. <laughs> get a glove. <laughs> okay, so give everybody... 
places that you would like to go for Valentine's Day? I already Day? did that last week. Oh, yeah. You want me to do it again? Time. You want me to do it again for you? Is Boy, this for you? Did or she this blow for... this? Or Listen, did she blow I'm just this? asking. Absolutely, wait a second. Back up. And she's I got her hand up, Jimmy. Up. I know she's giving is it hand. for you is, or is it for the listeners? Because I'll, I'll be happy to do it I'll, for the listeners. I'm writing it down. <laughs> Thank you, Freddie. At least somebody it's listens to me. It's always about the listeners. Okay. I, I'm just I a co-pilot in life. All right. So <laughs> Madison's, we love Madison's, is a great place to go. Meat Eatery and Tap Room is a great place That's to go. That's a fun place. Because I love, I talked about the private booths last week. Yes, they are. Nobody can see in. Very intimate. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> the waitress doesn't even know you're there. <laughs> it's very private. I loved it. Okay. I was with three men in a booth. Oh, I'm going to make a movie out of it. It's a movie. <laughs> three? Like then it's w. three men and a baby. <laughs> uh, I know, but three men in the booth. I like that. It was a good week for me. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Okay, then there's Vic and Angelo's, which is in Delray and also in Palm Beach. And they could just go to our website, theeatingcritiqueshow.com, and look for our top 20 restaurants if you need suggestions where to go for Valentine's Day. Tasso's Greek Taverna is another wonderful place to go. Bongo's, which we love. That's Gloria Stefan's I gotta, Hold on. i got to say something about Tasso's. What? I am so sick and tired when you tell people you're a restaurant critic and it always somehow it always comes up about Greek food and they go, Oh yes, we love Greek food and they give some place Diner in, restaurants, the diner around the corner, Greek islands or isles, whatever the Whatever. Is. We gave them a bad review. Oh my god, that That's if diner you want food. real authentic, real authentic, authentic. Greek you food. Just lick the mic. <laughs> was it authentic? <laughs> it didn't taste good. It tastes like <laughs> Grape leaves or anything? Oh, my goodness. Hummus? Gracious. The mic's too close to my face. Anyway. But, no, no, but I'm saying, and, and Tasso's, they're not an advertiser with us. No. So this is not an advertisement. If but you it's want, a restaurant that you have to try. Exactly. Even if That's you like, real Greek listen, food. Listen, even if you do not like Greek food, you have to try this restaurant. It's incredible. Love that place. Okay, and why are you staring a, me down like that? I just, that? no, I just, I just Can I continue a, with my suggestions? Go ahead, my dear. Eat my dear. Eat my dear? <laughs> My dear, it's a good thing <laughs> Chef George that, isn't here because he might be cooking here for us next was week. Was that D E E R or D E A R? D E E R. I know your mind's always on food. <laughs> <laughs> I am not eating deer. I draw the line. Okay. Evo is Italian in Jupiter, which we loved. You know, you missed one. I missed one. I said bongos. You did? Yeah. Okay. It's owned by Ricky Ricardo. It is not. E Luzi. Shima is Brazilian. Oh, Leave a stick nice. for me this week, by the way. <laughs> I took a lot of cough medicine today. Coco's Asian Bistro. Lantana Tapas. Are they still open? Yes. How come you never took me back there? Um, I don't know. Because you forgot I like it? No. Can you it, write things down, please? S3 in Fort Lauderdale. And don't give me dirty looks. I saw it. The owner <laughs> of S3 is going to be on with us next week. Yes. Okay. That's it. That's all I got. That's all you, that's all you that's got. All she wrote. I ain't got no more. <laughs> okay. So, I'm pretty amazed that we've been asked to be involved with the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. Well, actually, this is our no, second year. Second year, yes. Yeah, involved with. I guess they liked what happened the first year. But here's what we've got today, and they we're like our show. I guess so. Obviously, all the big celebrity chefs are going to be in town starting about the 19th, and on the 19th, they're going to be on the show. I know. We have some big people next week on the show. We ha Yeah, we have some huge people coming on, but this is the tickets. Now, we're going to give away a pair of tickets. Please, I am begging you. Oh, yeah, if tell you're... everybody it kicks off on February 19th. Yes, from 6 to 9. Uh, it's going to be at the Delano Hotel on the beach. Not inside the hotel, it's on the beach. There's... And you know what I, I also saw? Ranzoni's. 100th birthday That's bash, the event. Which is pretty cool, yeah. That's the event. Yeah. There's going to be about 30 of the top Italian chefs in the United States are going to be cooking their specialties. Who's it hosted by? Look at your notes. No, who is it hosted by? Debbie Mazur and Gabrielle Corcus. I just wanted you to say it. No kidding. <laughs> I knew that. That's why I was being helpful. But anyway, this is going to be an incredible event. The tickets are $225 a piece. We have a pair of tickets. And for those of you who don't know much about math, that comes to $695. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, but here's the deal, man. Don't just you win. You're like just, a whiz. Am I really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. So we're going to be involved in the Fresco Feast on February 19th. That's what it's called. From 6 to 9. So we're going to give away a pair of tickets right now to the fourth caller. But listen, if you can't go down there to Miami Beach, let someone win. Right. This There's is a limited a amount of guests, by the way. Huge event. Call us now at 877-927-6969. That's 877-927-6969 for a pair of tickets to this incredible event. If and you wait love a second, Italian and you can food. also purchase tickets if you, do, if you don't win the tickets today because they have VIP tickets, which are $225. So I suggest you call in. Yeah, this okay. is, That's pretty pricey. This is a what great... What caller he asked you? Let's take the fourth caller. Okay, so, well, we're not going to have a problem getting four callers out of this. I wow. I think so. Way to go, guys. So, anyway, so next we week. So, are we going? Because I really want to go. We're going. Oh, we absolutely. Going. Yeah, we're going to okay, go. Okay, wonderful. Look at my line. Wow. Wow, look. it's blowing up. You see that? I see it. Wow. I can see from here. You don't have to twist the we screen. We have more than four listeners now. Thank the Lord. Next week, we have. Eight lines. They're all lit. That's all you got listening. We got six lines and nine of them are lit. That is amazing. <laughs> Mazel tov. That's a record, isn't it, Jimmy? <laughs> anyway, we have next. Let's see on the yeah next week we have Peter Belukos. Now people are going, who the hell is he? He owns S three. He owns Tarpon Bay Bend. I'm doing this without looking. Tarpon Bay Yolos. Yolos. The new restaurant Fork, Fork and Bowls. Yeah, listen how she says <laughs> Fork and Bowls. It's on Las Anyway, no, I've been wanting to taste that. No he's, joke. He's one of the owners of the restaurant people. It's a big group in town. And, oh, they own Vibe, too. Vibe Ultra. Very cool. So they're, he's going to be on our show next week. And we also have Chef Fabio. We Which might, I'm excited about. Yeah, you might remember him. He was, uh, he was on he, Top he came Chef. came third in Top Chef. But then he was invited to Top Chef All-Star. Right. He's the guy with the deep Italian accent. And he was on Ellen. It's on Ellen. Which Access I love that Hollywood. show. You know I love the show Ellen. Good Morning America. I mean, these are... Yeah. Maybe they got the wrong show. They know we only have three or four listeners. <laughs> maybe the wrong show. Do they even listen to our show? <laughs> That's the question. Anyway, he's the... Like last week's guest. Who's that lady? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Tom, we had Brooklyn Water Bagels on with us last week. Very nice, fun. Well, maybe not for him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but no. he didn't start out in Brooklyn. Hence the name Brooklyn. That's all I'm saying. How's that work? Exactly. Thank you very much. Not and he didn't know who I was. Yeah, that was really. So you, wait, can I just say something about that? If you're coming onto a radio show, you really should know who your hosts of the show are. I know who you Before, are. I, thank God. Because if you're calling in, you don't say on air, who am I speaking with? Yeah, really. Okay. <laughs> It's not a good. It's not a good idea, especially for me, or to me, okay. or with me. Jimmy loses number. Do we have a winner? Don't worry, he's never calling again. I do if I can get her to be quiet. Okay. Jimmy. He's got. Oh, Jimmy, that was not good, Jimmy. Okay, he's got Joe on the line. Hey, Joe. Hey guys, how's it going? It's going good. How's it going for hey. you? Uh, it's going great now that I just won these great tickets. Bro, please tell me you're going to go down there, right, on the 19th? Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding yeah. me? Oh, I would have okay. missed it. Wow. It's going to be a great event. We've been there. If you love Italian food, you're going to have some of the top Italian yes. chefs down there. You're going to be tasting their food. It's at the Delano Hotel. And come say hi to me and Steve-O. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. If you could find us. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people there. Just listen for the laugh. <laughs> you can just radar. No, just look for the old, fat Jewish lady. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, bro, how long have you been listening to our show? Uh, it's Five minutes. Months, now, a few months. Oh, good. Months. Good for you. Don't ever ask that question. You set yourself up for failure. I don't care. Okay. We're trying to find out where our audience is. Okay, where are they? <laughs> Iowa. <laughs> no, they pick potatoes in Iowa. Oh, they do? Oh, no, that's Idaho. <laughs> I'm sorry. What part of town do you live in? I'm up in the West Palm Beach area. Oh, good. Okay. We're supposed to go, ooh, ooh. up in the West Palm Beach well, that's area. that's a definitive answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, today was, to today, yeah, right. today was definitely your lucky day. Jimmy, don't talk to me, Jimmy. I hear you in the background. I'm shutting him down. 
Okay, Go Jimmy. Ahead. Now, Jimmy, please don't get the the number of their address. Also, get the name of the street too. Oh, uh, no. That um, always helps, doesn't it? That make, helps, yes. Make sure you get the address. You give Jimmy your address and your tickets. Will, they're gonna. It's really strange. We, it, there are a barcode. There's. It's like a, a copy of a ticket, but it, the barcode's what's going to get you in. So we will be sending you those tomorrow, and you're on your way to an incredible event. I'm, you will absolutely love this event. Yeah, it's great. It's definitely going to be worth. Yeah. The money you're going to have to pay us, bro. <laughs> How much do I get? What's my cut? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening. And, thanks, uh, Joe. Have a great day. Stand in line, and Jimmy will get all your information. So why don't Thank we go to much. break? Listen, why don't we go to because break? Because Jimmy's getting all of his information right now, so we can't go to break. Okay, because quite. I was going to say, I'd like to bring Tom Smith, the owner of Meat Eatery and Tap Room, on. Let's introduce Tom first. I think I just did. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. And let... Jimmy, get the address, give him time, and then we'll go to break. He just likes to run the show. Do you see that? I see that. Do you see what I have to deal with? Renee, who writes the show? Me. (laughs) Who's reading the show? Not me. Hello. (laughs) Okay. Tom Smith. Oh, you! everybody's pushing their luck with me today. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Good now, afternoon. We get, to, we get to hear Jimmy in the background. Jimmy, you're still on mic, Jimmy. <laughs> Who's that lady? <laughs> Don't worry, just the whole floor that hears you. Don't worry about it, Jimmy. Everybody knows Joe's address. <laughs> Joe wears a dress? What'd you say? <laughs> he may after this. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go incognito. <laughs> yes. Anyway, we did an official tasting. We couldn't actually wait for the official tasting. I this can't is, continue like this. Yeah, I know. This is, I see, that's why you can't tell them let's go to break. You can hear. We need to get a new board up. Have a good time down there. You're more than welcome, buddy. You're more than welcome, buddy. Jimmy, don't worry that everybody. You've got to shut your mic down. I apologize. Okay. Can we go to break? And when we come back, we have Tom Smith. Smith. I'll take you to break now. Take okay, us. Take okay. Us to we'll break. be right back. Hi, this is Steve O, co-host of the Eaton Critique Show. Sorry, I want to guys. talk to you about my favorite deli, 2J's, with 24 locations throughout South Florida, 11 of them right here in Broward and Palm Beach. Most of us have ordered out from 2J's at one time or another, from those morning business meetings bar mitzvahs, or maybe you ordered one of their great holiday trays. What I love about 2J's is how consistently good they are and how my orders are always accurate and on time. Whatever occasion we are celebrating and I'm put in charge of the food, I know ordering from 2J's will always be a hit. From their cheese trays to their meat trays, 2J's never disappoints me or our company. You can always tell the difference between the 2J's trays and the other trays at parties as 2J's trays are always the ones that are devoured. Finally, I can't forget about 2J's latkes or their stuffed cabbage or their matzo ball soup, which are just like my Nana used to make. Go to their website to find out the location nearest you at www.2jays.com. That's T-O-O-J-A-Y-S. Tell them Steve O. Renee sent you from the Eaton Critique Show. Hi, I'm Steve O., restaurant critic on the Eaton Critique Show. When Renee and I find a great restaurant, we want to share it with our listeners. Let me tell you about Madison's New York Grill and Bar in Boca Raton. We made Madison's New York Grill and Bar one of our favorite restaurants right after we did our tasting. Madison serves both lunch and dinner, and if you need to impress a client or a friend, stop by Madison's for lunch, where they offer 10 items at $10 each. Try some of their lunch specials like grilled barbecue chicken breast, grilled salmon, rigatoni bellinese with meat sauce, or my favorite, their grilled chicken Caesars. Madison's is west of I-95 on Glades, next door to Jared Jewelers in Boca Raton. Renee and I received so many emails from listeners thanking us for turning them on to Madison's New York Grill and Bar. Try their crab cakes or another one of my favorites, their baby back ribs, which fall off the bone. Save room for their mouth-watering key lime pie. Call them at 561-994-0808 to make reservations. That's 561-994-0808. Please tell them you heard about it on the Eaton Critique Show. This is Les Gould of Hardcore Pawn, American Julian Loan, and I've got the two best people in South Florida, Steve O and Renee, my favorite people on the radio. Yo, cuz. How you doing? Yo, this cuz. is Steve Martirano, Mike's Cafe right, Martirano in Fort Lauderdale, and at the Hard Rock Seminole Hotel and Casino, and at the Rio in Las Vegas. And I love turning into my friends, Steve O and Renee, 
Eat and Critique radio show. Enjoy. Say goodbye. And we're back. You're already back. <laughs> back from what? <laughs> You're already back. So we have a special guest in the studio. No, we this have... is our segment now. This is now well, that's called... that's because all the women are writing us. They love better? those. Yeah, they love these guys. Yeah, the, it's called the Meat Eatery and Tap Room in Boca segment. segment. Yes, <laughs> which we, we like every that. week. Yeah. So we surprised. have on this Tom Smith. Welcome to the show, Tom. Thank you very much. So we did a tasting like a week and a half ago that was incredible we did it backwards too we yeah. started with dessert and we worked. did we did <laughs> so what did we start with we have to talk about that too the uh the pumpkin the adult pumpkin milkshake so why is that tell everybody why that's called the adult pumpkin milkshake because well, we put beer in it <laughs> did you taste the beer i gotta tell the story here's the actual <laughs> story so i wanted because you have to elaborate i wanted the pumpkin spice milkshake Renee said, nah, nah, nah. Well, no. I, I truly do not like anything pumpkin related. That's true. So I and ordered. I told you that. So you bring it out. Guess who tasted first? Didn't even give the person who ordered first. You took it, and it was so said, hard to get it back from you. I had to lay claim to it. I licked this straw. You <laughs> loved it. I did. I loved it. She it loved was, it. I know. It she almost gonna, didn't give it back. I know. It was, <laughs> well, he was tugging my arm. What was I supposed to do? Who would have thought of putting beer in a milkshake? Yeah, we did a spiced, uh, Shiner spiced ale with the uh, the ice cream recipe that we use. And it was, I loved it. It was phenomenal. Yeah. It really we're was. Still, we're running that still. That's but a popular. Not, so that's but, not a holiday special. I mean, that's something that you went, because of the fact that I'm sure it's popular, right? Oh, yeah. Definitely. All your milkshakes are called adult. Milkshakes. Well, yeah, well, we have the adult ones, we have the regular ones. So if you just that, want Nutella, you can get Nutella. If you want Guinness in it, we'll it's load not you up. X rated. That doesn't mean adult, like adult movies. Oh, I'm so glad you explained that liquor. to me. I just want to just wanted reassure you. <laughs> but there is whipped cream on top, so. Oh. Do you know what? I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> there is. Here we go. This <laughs> is not your typical burger place, it's not your salad place. I, the only way I can describe it's eclectic. Very much so. And it, it is just, it doesn't matter what you order, okay? And there are some crazy things on the menu. Like what? Well, like how the, about the raspberry the, ice cream the, with the, the wine, wine in it? Raspberry wine yeah. ice cream, which was unusual. And yes, we did start first with dessert, and then we moved on to the meal. So tell everybody about that. The ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we've been toying cream. around with that. We do our own recipes for our ice creams. And we were toying around with uh, using one of the wines that we had in house, the Castronovo, um, that we uh, we like, enjoy. It works really well with our food items. And um, as in Paul Castronovo, as in yes. Paul, yeah, yeah, as in Paul and Young Run. Hey, they're part of the station. Yeah, they. Um, we just happened to bring it in. Paul stopped in, loves our place, and uh, I'm sure he does. And we started talking, and I tried the wines out, and they work really well. The um, Montepulciano and the Pecorino work really well with our sausages and some of the other items that we offer. So we brought it in, and they've been selling well, and decided to start concocting some other fun stuff with it. So I think so Chef they George ice who's, cream with Paul <clears throat> Castronova. I know. I think Chef. His wine, not himself. <laughs> right. I think. Uh, I just imagine Chef George Patty, your partner, yep. lays awake at night going. Like a uh, a scientist or something. Like a mad scientist. Yeah. So you, then you brought us out the fries with the cheese and the bacon. And yeah. your Can bacon. I tell you something? It does not get any better than that. It really doesn't. Yeah, the they're dangerous. Fries. They're dangerous. Very much so. I have to stay away from them. You can't stop eating them. No. I mean, the, the, and the bacon. Tell everybody how you cure your own bacon. Yeah, it takes us uh, about 10 days. We make our own bacon in-house. They rub it down, let it age a little bit, smoke it. Cherry would smoke it. It's it's a production and it's and it sells a lot. I mean, you know what? We got eleven. Counted them before we came. We got eleven emails about your pastrami. Tell us when the pastrami is going to be in again. Tell, listen, Tom. Tell me, please. I beg you. I'll wait by the door. Okay? You have to. You have to join our email program. That's the only way to find oh. out. I'm not part of that. I don't think you. Go are to yet. you. Got to go to your you website. Go to the website I'm and then going go and in. Joining and, today. And What's the website us? address first? It is uh, meateateryboca.com. But I'm going get us I'm your information. It. The the pastrami takes us 14 days total. And it was sold out in what? And it sold out in two days. Okay. Two or three days. I'm and going over crazy. there. With or without you, I'm going there for the pastrami. 
I mean, can you imagine? I mean, 11 emails about pastrami? When is it going to be? So what you have to do is direct them to the website. Yeah, now I know. And now they'll get an email telling them when the pastrami is going to be ready. Wow. Exactly. So we can start like a pastrami club. Exactly. I like that. Do you like don't that? Don't say that. There's actually a deli called the Pastrami Club. I know. It sucks. I don't want to give it. Did I say that? No. Say, take it back right now, Renee. Take it back. It's not that good. That's all I'm saying. My father likes it. I don't like it. It's not really a great restaurant. Sorry. <laughs> now, this is going to be, this is, I want you to talk about. The Renee smoked, loves wings. The smoked oh, yeah. wings. So tell everybody what the difference is between your wings and everybody else's because those wings you didn't even need to pick the them barbecue up. They, sauce. No, well, they had a kick to it. Aside Hi, from Evo Restaurant. Whoa! I heart shut me down because I said the word sucks. <laughs> 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 That's not a curse. <laughs> All right. Anyway, the wings actually fall off the bone. They're so soft. Yeah, we smoke them ourselves first. So we smoke them and then we put them on the griddle instead of deep frying them. So when they come out, they literally fall apart. Fall off right off the bone. They're delicious. And then we put the Korean hoisin barbecue Which I sauce love. on it with a little bit of blue cheese crumbles on top of that and it's just to it's die a home for. run. It's a home I run. have to tell you and you know I always say this I am a wing connoisseur. I, I absolutely know. thought those were the best wings I've ever had. We ran them as a special first time George did them. We ran them as a special that week and we had such an overwhelming response that we immediately put them on the menu. They're great. They're, they're fantastic. They're you know phenomenal. people are going right now they're going so where is this place? Explain how to get to the restaurant because you have to it's in an office building yeah, you have to kind of find it first you have to find boca raton yes that'll be a good start <laughs> i think most people can find oh, that look, tom's got a little uh, sense of humor today of course he does. he's getting cocky with all these uh, I, took some, I took some cold medicine too <laughs> i love tom i'm going back to the booth <laughs> Here she goes. <laughs> so she uh, wakes up in the morning. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You should only be so lucky. <laughs> uh, but anyways, everybody knows where Meisner Park is, North Federal Highway. It's not in Meisner, though. It's not in Meisner. We're just past it on North Federal before you get to Glades Road. We're on the east side in the Sendine building, which also houses uh, Wells, Fargo. Wells Fargo. So that's why a lot of people recognize that. And we're, in the, we're on the same base floor across from Wells Fargo and um, we kind of open we open up, yeah, we open right up into the lobby so it's yeah. really kind of really cool. cool and, and we're talking about that last week for the big game that it was such a great place to go watch a game I mean any game especially that game exactly okay then this is my favorite well, you I, love turkey burgers. I love turkey burgers the only things I've always said I wish they would season them better because well, typically they're very dry and they you, really don't have too much taste. So I'm usually not a big fan you, of the turkey burger. Your burgers. Asian turkey burger with the slaw was out of this world. I didn't even it want really to share was. it with, what's your name again? I don't even Who's know. That Listen, lady? <laughs> that's exactly it. You don't want to share anything with me. Yes, I do. Okay, I saw you hogging the fries. I had to say, get Tom some. He was sitting with us. Oh, did yeah. I or did I not say that? Let Tom have some. Yeah, I had to. Reach in there and grab Yeah, you got to grab. Listen, if I, that's why I'm so thin. If I don't eat really fast, I get nothing. <laughs> I'm going to start sharing my kibbles and bits with you. See? Then you I'll can't say a, anything. I'll take a pass on that. Now, you know, I kind of skipped around. There was something else we got earlier in the evening. You make your own pork rinds. Oh, yeah. Now, pork rinds is something people usually don't admit to liking. And I love a pork rinds. Snack. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, the diets, because they're not a, a carb or you know, they they're a protein. Um, are sub they substitute it for them, and ours are pretty good. They're very good. <laughs> they're very good. And what was that dipping sauce? It was a uh, chimichurri dipping sauce. I love that. Listen, not only do they make all their own sauces, but your mustard and your ketchup, which you make yourself. That mustard. Wait a second. I have to talk I about that, that I mustard because I ate that mustard on everything that night. Yeah, you started putting on. I put it in my drink. <laughs> or ice cream. <laughs> Everything. That mustard, so it has caraway seeds in it. It's beer, caraway seed. I think so there's a little. It's di some Dijon. It's I tried. I tried to steal the container, but Chef George was watching me like a hawk. <laughs> yeah, George, when he said he was going to start doing the condiments, I was like, "Oh, that's kind of interesting." You know, I've, I've honestly, I've, I've had homemade condiments at a restaurant here they're and there, not and that they're good. They're, they're okay, and they're nothing special, and. He put together the mango chipotle ketchup, which is wonderful. And I don't, I don't like ketchup, and right. I hate that ketchup. And the mustard, I literally, when I get the bratwurst, 
I just lather it. In I saw you doing that. <laughs> it's, it's that it's good. Right. That mustard but is Renee that good. Renee and I looked at each other and said, you guys got to bottle this. Yes. Yeah, we're working I'll on that. I'll be your first customer. We're, Definitely. We're working on that. Then we did the blueberry pickled sausage. The I one I said I got to have Chef George's sausage. I wasn't joking. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about food. You have a dirty mind. Oh me? No. Yes. No. George isn't even here to defend himself. So yeah. we it was the best sausage I oh, ever was had. This? <laughs> <laughs> and it was big. <laughs> <laughs> I wish people were... Wo Stop moaning, Jimmy! <laughs> <laughs> it was fabulous. I'm sorry. You I've had sausage in a long time. Poor Jimmy's got his finger <laughs> on that button. <laughs> I have not had a sausage in a very long time. <laughs> not with a hot flesh. Sorry, <laughs> 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 I left you speechless. I'm spinning. <laughs> you are spinning. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, uh, so we're talking about the sausage. No, I'm not talking about the oh, sausage. I'm gonna be talking about the sausage for a long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> The rest of the show, <sighs> okay. I wonder if uh, I love the sausage. Do you think that they smoked? <laughs> <laughs> do you think Clear Channel t changed their name to iHeart because of our show? Oh, like anyway. So, but you all, you don't just serve dinner. I gotta <clears throat> breathe for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, breathe. I'm feeling off the pits now. <laughs> pass out. Uh, so you do breakfast <laughs> also? Yeah, we do our breakfast now. I was looking at your breakfast. You could act under eight bucks. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you could have breakfast. We have to go there for breakfast. And listen, if if it's Chef George. Everything we ate there, <coughs> I have to say, Tom, everything we ate there was phenomenal. Thank you. Tell everybody your hours so they don't come there and the doors are locked. <laughs> He's choking. Well, we're everybody laughing. chokes. Give me a second here. Everybody, <laughs> everybody chokes when they come into the station. We do uh, breakfast Monday through Friday. Um, part of being in the office center there, uh, we have a captive audience, and they appreciate uh, some nice food for breakfast. So we're, we serve it from 8.30 to 10.30, Monday to Friday. Our regular menu starts at 11 and goes to 9.30, Monday to Friday, and we open at noon on weekends, so it's noon to 9.30 on Saturday and Sunday. And you know this this... The Casbah, which they Casbah. call Casbah, it's called the Casbah. The Casbah. Yes. How many, how many of the big screen TVs do you have in there? We have five total. We've got one in the bar, and then we've got four other ones. So if Casbah. you like watching Days of Our Lives, are all my children? It's do a, you? No. Do you watch that? No, no. But they Just have checking. I don't know. All the great sporting events are there. There's not a bad Listen, seat. Listen, you don't have to go there to watch a game. Just go there and try their food. Because it's beyond incredible. Every single thing that we tasted, one thing was better than the other. It really was. I know, and I know. like all the different items that they have on the menu. Things that you would never expect dining there. Yeah, it's just a fun place. It really I mean, is. But, hey, if you like pastrami, there's only one way you're going to get I'm it. I'm going on the waiting list. You are? You're yes, going on absolutely. the email. I'm yeah. going to email them and go on the waiting list. Anyway. I'm waiting by the door. <laughs> <laughs> is there a... A happy hour? Yeah, we do happy hour from 4 to 6. We do uh, $2 pints of Coors Light, uh, $3 pints, whatever our feature is. I think it's Fat Tire right now. Yeah, um, craft beers. Yeah, craft wine. beers. Um, we are, our house wines are $4, and our sliders are 3 We do a pulled chicken, pulled pork, chorizo, and a burger slider for wow. 3 bucks. And That's it's a, amazing. It's a good deal. It's a really good deal. And did you know that Tom is a master sommelier? That's I'm right. Not a master, so, but I'm a sommelier. I'm calling you the master. <laughs> I so know that So he can he pair was, up. Yes. He can do pairings for you. I'm calling you the master sommelier because he told us a story. I do remember everything. Wow. So that means he can pair up wines. That means they have incredible wines and they do their own craft beers. Right. So if you need suggestions, Tom will be happy to give you a yeah. suggestion. Yeah, we we have a list that I work with the staff on for uh, different pairings, and uh, I've been a sommelier for 17 years, so it's been doing it for a while and uh I, I really enjoy it i really you know we were joking around a couple of weeks ago and i was talking about pairing uh pairing wine with your sausage yes. <laughs> so back to the sausage again yeah, there we go we might revisit that in a couple of weeks you know what? i'll bet you there's some people that are going down to the keys for valentine's day 
you have restaurants in the Keys also. Yeah, we have uh, Salt Fusion Cuisine down at Mile Marker 83, and we have another meet down there at 88, Mile Marker 88. But, uh, yeah, the, the fine dining restaurant, Salt Fusion, is definitely, if you're coming down to the Keys, definitely give us a call. What's the Check cuisine? It. It's, uh, it's... It's, salt stands for Southern Asian Latin taste. It's chef's Listen, any, fusion. All I'm going to say is anything that Chef George cooks has to be phenomenal. Well, you know what else? He's very talented. Yeah, and you know what? There's been several times he was supposed to be on the show, but you had a big event coming up. Right, you yeah. do so catering as well. We do catering. We do, you know, George, is, George gets involved in a lot of the um, contests. He's judging every once in a while. He's participating in these events. You know, he won the... The Bacon Bash uh, a few months ago back down in Fort Lauderdale. And, uh, and he's yeah, a good guy, too. So. He's a good His guy, bacon's too. bacon's unbelievable. Yeah, the bacon banana You guys have got pudding. the perfect partnership. Bacon banana bread pudding. Yeah, that's what he, he had a bacon. Would you expect bacon anything bread. less from me? <laughs> I would. I what would, would you try think? that. Bacon banana bread pudding. Wow. Bacon banana bread pudding. How about, hey, we've had bacon on donuts before. Bacon donuts. Yeah, so why not? Yes. Man, that's just Listen, amazing. if Chef George is cooking it, I'm eating it. You know, I, I'm using this because we're, we're getting all these emails now. People just like, hey, we love your suggestions. Keep bringing them on. We just had a an email from a, a, a big restaurant in Jupiter said that his customers tell him, if Steve-O and Renee say go there, you better go there. So we're go telling meet you, eatery. meet eatery. <laughs> if yes. you haven't been there, I mean, it is just a different experience don't worry about ordering because whatever you order i promise you is going to be good but it's going to be different that's the thing if you and want they have a whole array of burgers as well i mean i know we joke yeah. all joking aside you see lucy, lucy here we lucy, go exactly but you do yeah. you have different types of burgers we haven't we even have a veggie burger that george puts together uh, you guys didn't try that one but it's we'll come back it's beets <laughs> mushrooms um quinoa and uh farro so it's got it's it's very good and people don't think about it. They think meat. They go, oh, I can't go there. I right. want to eat healthier, whatever the situation right. is. But we make our own hummus and tapenade there. We make our own veggie burgers. You know, we, we have some nice The salad mixes are great. You know, you can get options like a turkey burger on a salad or a hamburger on a salad, a veggie burger on a salad. So it's And it's the Schmageggs have their own segment now. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to be Jewish over there? <laughs> What segments of, uh, segments of Jewish War too? Oh, segments. <laughs> segments. Anyhow, let's. Hey, we got a few more minutes. Let's go to break. A quick break. A quick break. I don't have a quick one. Okay, <laughs> let's go to one of those twenty-four hour breaks. <laughs> anyway, um, we don't have we don't have another break, Jimmy. No, you got about four minutes left. We have oh. four minutes. Do you have a five minute break? <laughs> <laughs> you want to just get rid of me? No. Who's that lady? Who's that lady? <laughs> I don't even belong on this show. <laughs> okay, so we did our Valentine's. Oh, why, oh, I want to put out there. If you want to go and look at our website, which you can watch our show on, you can watch past shows on, or you can see our top 20. Well, if you want to select a restaurant to go for Valentine's Day, we have our top 20 restaurants that we highly recommend. Because it takes a lot. We have gone to thousands of restaurants. So if you're looking for a great place to go for Valentine's Day, you could just go on there. And all the restaurants... You've got to change it to 20 plus 1. So if they're going to the Keys, they've got another option. Yes. I think it's a right. great idea. But you are absolutely right. Yeah. Because if you click on the web on the actual link, it, it links to their website. And you could see their menu and where they're located and contact information There's, as well. You know what? There's a lot of restaurants getting ready to open. Okay. So don't have me talk about the bagels if that's what you want me to talk about. Because I already talked about the bagels. Listen, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna dine at Brooklyn Bagels. I am gonna try Brooklyn Bagels, but they need to open a location in Brooklyn. Okay, okay. because if and I'm sorry, I'm gonna go on a tangent right now. If Got you it. say listen, Here if you go, say Jim. that your name is Brooklyn Bagels, I just think my opinion is and not that my opinion matters, especially with you, but that's good. if you're gonna say Brooklyn you need to have a location in Brooklyn or be taking the bagels from Brooklyn or the water. Yeah. Am okay. I wrong? So Freddie, am I wrong? Up. Tom, am I wrong? That's Brooklyn water bagels, right? Is that the story? Yes. So they import the water? Is that how it works? Don't worry. They're never going to be a sponsor. They didn't even know who I was. <laughs> <laughs> 
They want no, to know who I was on air. But, this but week, that's okay. I wasn't insulted okay, or anything. But this week is National Bagel Day. I know. That's why I'm talking about it. So I want to get... And I heard their bagels are wonderful, and I'm going to go to their bagel place. Get them with the gunna. <laughs> okay, so listen. Just a few just say it. great bagel places. Bagel Boys, they have four locations in Palm Beach County. Um, Brooklyn Bagels. Brooklyn Bagels. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them They're not plug. located in Brooklyn. <laughs> Boston Bagel Cafe. They're out of uh, Arkansas, Fort, and they're in Fort Lauderdale. Out of Arkansas? Yeah, Boston Bagel. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Flakowitz. You don't know. Maybe they are from Arkansas. Flakowitz in Boynton Beach. Which is very why, good. What wonder why they left off the one in Boca. Maybe they closed? I don't know. Maybe it'll no, open. No, they're still open. <laughs> then, yeah, I know they yeah open. it's right down the street from you. Yeah. And then Bagels and, that's the name of the place, Bagels and, they're in Boynton Beach, Can I just Sage and Hollywood. I like West Side Bagels in Parkland. You do? Yes, okay. very much so. That's their Mitch's place. Are, that's The salads are excellent, I have to say. Bagel City, they're in Boca Raton. Way Beyond Bagels, they're in Delray Beach. Uh, so there's some, uh, oh, and Bagel Snack in Pompano. That's wonderful. Yeah. I'm hey, really Tom, excited about that. Give every, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. Hey, Tom, give everybody your phone number. Our phone number in Boca is 561-419-2600. Uh, and you can see us at um, meateateryboca.com. We're located at uh, 980 North Federal. Like we talked about, between Meisner and Glades Road, east side, in the Sundine building with, uh, right next door to our neighbor is Wells Fargo. Yes. Hey, did Tom's you know voice get deeper? I mean, is this yeah. starting to like, get into if this? If you want to see two handsome guys, him and Chef George, go down and visit and have their food. <laughs> go have the sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I did. It's wonderful. <laughs> Short, Chef George has plenty of sausage to spare. <laughs> to share. <laughs> to share. <laughs> Not spare. Share, spare. I'll share. <laughs> I put, share. Did you put the mustard on the sausage? It was so good it didn't even need mustard. Oh. Now that mustard's phenomenal. I love you guys. Okay. Here we go. Today's show has been brought to you by Madison's New York Grill and Bar, one of our top 20 restaurants, and one of Steve-O and my favorites for lunch or dinner. Don't forget to make your dinner reservations at Madison's New York Grill and Bar in Boca Raton at 561-994-0808. That's 561-994-0808. Zero eight zero eight, and they're located just west of ninety five on Glades Road. Hey, you know if it's, if it weren't for you, there would definitely be no us. That's for sure. Everybody have a wonderful week. Support Meat Eatery and Boca. Peace and love, everybody. We're out. Babe. I got you. Babe. I got flowers in the spring. I got wings to wear my ring. been listening to the Eat and Critique Show with local restaurant critics Steve-O and Renee. Tune in again next week for more restaurant reviews, fine dining gift certificate giveaways, and interviews as Steve-O and Renee search for the good, the bad, and the ugly in fine dining experiences. To contact Steve-O and Renee, go to their website at www.theeatandcritiqueshow.com or go to their Facebook page. Thanks again for tuning in to the Eat and Critique Show here on Real Radio 94.3.